Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the chariot card over here and this is a card talking about a lot of success and achievement but maybe having to fight for it. Uh, so it's not going to come very, very easy. You're going to have to take control of that situation. You can see these two dragons are butting heads with each other. And, you know, in the previous card, you get that cross swords over here. So you might be coming against some kind of opposition, some kind of competition that you're going to have to deal with. And you're going to have to fight your way to get to the, to achieve your goals. Uh, with the chariot card, you know, you do usually achieve success, but you have to be very determined and very, very focused. Uh, your mind has got to be very clear and, um, you know, maybe uh, you're having problems communicating with this person, but they're presenting some kind of opposition for you. But there is achievement, there is success in this particular uh, circumstance. So it looks like you will, um, you know, eventually prevail. You will uh, be a winner in it. So you've got the Ace of Cups over here with the King of Cups. It looks like there's some kind of new offer. This King of Cups offering you something, the Ace of Cups, a brand new start at something. So there's something big coming your way, some kind of opportunity that you will be uh, presented with. And this person is um, quite a the businessman, uh, is a very uh, uh, supportive person, uh, somebody who's very learned as well. This could be in the field of medicine as well, because, uh, you know, medicine or some kind of study that you're doing, um, um, something, some kind of intellectual pursuit, rather. The King of Cups is very, very knowledgeable, but there's some kind of opportunity that is being offered to you uh, that is uh, going to be very, very, um, you know, it gives you that emotional satisfaction uh, when you're doing it. So something brand new coming in your way, some kind of new offer. Now, you've got the Queen of Cups in the last uh, year or so, so you have been feeling a bit miserable, a bit lonely, uh, you know, uh, maybe you've been crying a little bit about the past as well. This is a kind of about being a bit depressed about dealing with cir certain circumstances um, and having to do it by yourself and not really feeling like you've got a grip on things over here. Maybe daydreaming a little bit too much about what you want rather than putting it into action, um, but spending a lot of time by yourself as well. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. So, um, you know, maybe you have been studying a lot because you've got a lot of books by this woman's feet over here. And it's something to do with your career, uh, career advancement. You might be in, um, uh, you know, in a management kind of position with this Queen of Pentacles as well. Uh, but also furthering your career by uh, study or um, you might be into some kind of management, um, a money management uh, position as well. Um, and maybe feeling a little lonely at the top over there with this Queen of Pentacles. But you're very organized, very disciplined. Uh, and maybe this is the reason why, uh, you know, um, you've had to, um, you know, let you're leaving everybody else out of your life and focusing on that wealth or trying to um, achieve that wealth. And that is probably making you a little bit depressed or making you a bit unhappy because you're feeling a bit lonely. And Sagittarius is a sign that doesn't like to be lonely or doesn't like to um, you know, be without people around them. So you are having to sacrifice that socialization, um, socializing with people in order for you to achieve your goals. Uh, but you're getting there. The Queen of Pentacles is, um, you know, focusing on money and achieving that wealth as well. So you've got the star card on your mind. So you are trying to, um, you know, move according to your divine plan, if you like. Um, this is, uh, you know, meeting a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people, uh, getting a lot of inspiration by the interactions that you make with people. So, um, you know, you are thinking on a higher level here and um, you're getting a lot of information coming in, a lot of advice, a lot of information, a lot of inspiration coming in for you here. So going into the future, you've got the Five of Swords over here. So you are facing people that are very difficult to deal with. Uh, there's a lot of competition. There might be a lot of vindictive behavior going on around you. Uh, people really, you know, uh, standing up for what they believe in, but also people presenting a lot of, um, you know, obstacles to your progress, making life really, really difficult. And you're having difficulties communicating with these people. Uh, maybe they are not acting above board. Maybe the things that they're doing are a little bit uh, sneaky um, or a bit nasty, uh, a bit on the nasty side, because they're trying to all go for that same goal that you are and you're having to fight for whatever you want in life or in your career. So you've got the Four of Swords over here. So this has left, led to a lot of stress. <coughs> you see you need a bit of a holiday, a bit of a break. You've been sorting out a lot of problems. Uh, there's a lot of rocks over here, and you are pretty tired. 
um, after all of this. So maybe it's time for you to take a bit of a retreat, um, take a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break. Now you've got the Queen of Swords over here, so you're quite determined to get what you want. You're quite ambitious and um, you know you are in charge. You know exactly what you want. You see beyond the lies or deception that people present to you. And you're somebody who knows exactly what they want. This woman's carrying this lit up sword, um, the sword of fire, so the sword of truth. And so she knows exactly what she wants. Very proactive person. Uh, you're not sitting back and letting people walk all over you. Um, and, uh, you know, you have a sense of justice about you as well. So you know exactly what you want and you're, um, you're going for it. So you've got the Ten of Swords. Whatever happened in the past, you're planning on put, leaving it behind and moving on. So there might have been some kind of situation that you were involved in that caused a lot of defeat. Maybe you felt a bit humiliated. Uh, it was something that caused, you know, uh, was caused by people letting you down, people betraying you. Um, and, uh, you know, you've decided to let that go and move on from it. You are still dealing with a lot of difficult people. You are still fighting dragons here, uh, but you are, uh, you know, uh, you have a lot more information, a lot more knowledge, uh, a lot more skill now uh, in sorting through problems than you did in the past. So going into the future, you've got the Four of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So with the Four of Pentacles, uh, you're going to be able to accumulate wealth. Uh, so this means that, you know, you are watching your finances, you're watching what you spend, what you save. Um, and you're counting your pennies, you're making sure you're holding on to belief systems that are going to get you money. So uh, with the Four of Pentacles, also establishing um, you know, firm, strong foundations now. Maybe in the past you didn't have strong foundations and people got the better of you, but you're not allowing that. So this is a card of being really with it and together. Then you've got the King of Swords over here. So there's some kind of legal decision that you are facing at the moment. Uh, maybe whatever happened... Uh, resulted in some kind of uh, legal consequence and you are waiting for that decision to come in. Now with the Six of Swords, it looks like you know, you're going to be uh, bumping into somebody that you have known or worked with in the past and you will be starting some kind of project together. You'll work pretty well and uh, you know, um, with the Six of Cups, it's like going back to your, your past, your childhood, uh, not childhood rather, but rather you know, when you first started out uh, maybe you have worked with this person when you first started out your career, and it looks like you've um, you're going to uh, maybe um, meet them, meet up with them again, and and be able to get some kind of project going with them uh, now. Now it looks like you know you are dealing with difficult people, uh, but you are very determined, and you have got a lot of experience under your belt right now. So you're going to be able to sort the problems. It looks like you might need a little bit of a break, a little bit of holiday with this uh, Four of Swords over here, uh, but. All, all in all, you know, you're getting there slowly. So this is from the Fairy Tarot. And you've got the Five of Spring over here, which says opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, and overly ambitious people. So maybe these people that you're dealing with with the Five of Swords are very ambitious, and they are the ones that are giving you problems. That's the competition that you're facing. And then you've got the Ten of Spring over here, which says ask for help from others, or work and no play, play being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So this is like the 10 of rods over here. So this is, you know, having too many responsibilities, too many burdens, uh, and, you know, needing to delegate. Um, you know, you have the authority to do that, so you, it's about time that you did. And with the emperor card, you've got to use logic and structure to increase your success, get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So you are in some kind of leadership position. You need to organize yourself. You need to manage your finances, manage uh, the people around you, um, and take control of that situation uh, so that people don't walk all over you. Um, and, you know, and use a lot of structure, a lot of logic. Be very, very, um, you know, um, logical about how you approach a situation. The Emperor card also is about judgment, so this could well be that you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in as well, or dealing with a legal circumstance. And maybe this is the thing that's caused a lot of burdens and a lot of problems, and maybe this has arisen from you dealing with a lot of difficult people. So there is some kind of legality that you are also dealing with as well. And this is the thing that's stirring up everything here. Um, but as soon as that it looks like, you know, there will be some kind of offer, maybe an offer of help that comes in that allows you to move away from this difficult problem that you're going through uh, in your career. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.